Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banished! We're back in Brussels, our, our city is growing well. Thank you everyone who pointed out the fact that our tailor over here was operating on the, uh, the hide coats. And then where's the other one? Is it right there? Oh, okay, so that's warm coats. Let me just look really quickly here. Where are our... Oh, tailor's here. We've got one... That's kind of awkward. Oh, I clicked on the house. No, I want to click on the workplace. Okay, because we've got four tailors, and I just have to find them all. Okay, next tailor, warm coats, and another tailor, hide coat, there we are. <clears throat> all right, get everyone going on warm coats for maximum trading value. Speaking of trade, of course, we're going to get someone coming in there. I think we can unpause things at this point. Let's start off at times five, probably end up going to times ten. And my goal for this episode is to keep growing our town. I think we possibly may move east at this point. Uh, also, some people commented that it's possible that not enough people um, live near these farms. Let's take a quick gander. That was the wrong button. But let's take a look what the trader has to offer. Sheep. We really don't need sheep. I will dismiss you. 30,000 food. Very nice. Yeah. Um, this is the tool I want. The paths tool. And yep, yeah, that's pretty far. That's pretty far. That's pretty far. Okay, I think we are indeed losing some farm. If it, look at that. That's pretty bad. We need a lot more houses over here. So, uh, while I was trying to limit exactly how much I expanded, I'm going to go have to do that. Uh, we actually don't have enough stone. You know what? I will build uh, in the interest of efficiency. We will go ahead and build uh, a foursome of wooden houses. And um, get that populated there. <clears throat> Reserve of iron is low, which is fine. I think we've got both mines going iron and coal, which is pretty reasonable there. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. So yeah, I think we're going to move out east and build maybe more more just farms. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. Um, yeah, we might keep this little lot around, in which case we're going to mostly build farm areas up here. Get a little bit more food close to our major settlement area. And generally speaking, keep our food production nice and high. Some people are complaining about uh, lack of food. And I think it's that. I think it's a, just a lot of travel time to where their work is. So, that's okay. We can deal with that. Is this, like, chicken thing? We still have a massive chicken blight going on. Oh my god, there's a tornado! Did it not give me a pop-up for it? Tornado has touched down near the town. Did I, like, dismiss it accidentally? Where's... Oh, there's the tornado. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, we are on times one speed. All right, good, because it should respond to disasters that way. <clears throat> so... Okay, this is not so bad. As long as it doesn't rip right through the town itself, we're going to be all right, but... My gosh. I'm not going to start the rebuild quite yet. We're going to wait to see... Oh, God, no. No! Oh, I'm going to lose all my uh, all my resources that are camped here. My extra firewood, is that all I have? And all my warm coats. Let's just put it down to zero, make sure we're not bringing anything else towards here, although we, I don't think we're gonna be able to save it. Oh, it's going across river! Oh, good. Okay. I wonder if they walk around randomly. So many people have just been killed by this. We're gonna have to figure this out soon, but not quite yet. Foresters and things are being killed. We still have lots of food. We could definitely cut back on some of the food production. Oh, no. Right here, through the storage barn, through the hospital. Oh, that's good. We don't need a hospital after a disaster like this. Um, of course, it's going to hit us right when we have, like, the biggest shortage of food. No, my sheep! We have not the biggest shortage of food, but shortage of uh, other supplies. So we're not going to be able to rebuild very easily. We're maxed out on stone cutters. Yeah. Well, I suppose I might just, like, get a whole lot of people assigned to be laborers and go and dig this all out. I think the worst has passed at this point, but holy cow. Alright, how are we going to deal with this? <clears throat> I wonder how many people we just lost. I guess what we could do is go to the uh, the town hall, check the graphs, uh, the population graph. Oh! Well, there was a dip from about maybe 350 people to like 290. So 60 people died, maybe. Hmm. Well, it's bad. I mean, I don't. I shouldn't be downplaying that, but it could have been worse. It could have been much worse if they'd gone right through town. Uh, I do think <clears throat> rebuilding one of these storage barns is going to be important here. Um, yeah, we're going to be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and pull back on our fishermen 
and some of our gatherers as well get the labor account up actually I'm gonna go ahead and put in like a dozen builders and then most of them are actually not gonna be able to build right away because they don't have resources but over here I can grab a bunch of stone just like all over the place just go crazy with the stone wherever it happens to be might be a little bit up there some of it might be iron which technically we could use but I don't think I want to commit any laborer hours to that I think there's some stone there okay we'll let that be hopefully good enough yeah this is not terribly far either Let's go ahead and flag some more of that and that. A little bit of walking, <clears throat> but overall we should be okay. So this pasture is built, but the... Oh, right, this is going to be my chicken pasture. So let's get some chickens going on over there. It's got employees and everything. So we are going to empty this chicken pasture, get everyone out of there completely, send it to the other place. Excellent. Perfect. People are getting crushed by rocks. So do they produce eggs? They do produce eggs. And also chickens when the limit gets over. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, alright. Uh, let's rebuild this storage barn. And this hunting cabin. I think we're going to be okay. The supplies are a little bit tight is the only problem. But other than that, we're going to be okay. Um, oh, we lost our boarding house too. And probably... All our people have just moved into boarding houses. No! Oh, wait! We got a lot of people killed, so I guess we don't have to worry quite as much as I was afraid of. I could probably cut back on the foresters for a bit. We will need a lot of wood here, though. No, you know what? I'm going to leave the 14 in there. Damn it! I just did it. I'm going to leave the 14 in there to um, ensure that our production stays up. Also, they're replanting uh, saplings, so that counts for something. Looks like the tornado didn't actually affect trees, though, which is kind of odd. But yay. Uh, blacksmiths, I guess our blacksmiths got killed. Blacksmiths are at capacity, tailors are at capacity, which is good. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut back on vendors a little bit as well. And, of course, some nomads have showed up. Actually, we might take them. We lost some houses, but we can use some more citizens. We have over 20,000 food. Ooh, that's actually a little bit tough. I'm not sure. Are we in Well, no, we've got, we've got all the boarding houses are empty. We do have a lot of food. You know what? Come on board. We can use some extra hands. I just got an achievement for that. Immigrants. Let's go and find out exactly what it has to say about it. Allow 200 nomads into a single town. Well, of course. Of course it's fine. Um, I'm thinking about building a second stone quarry somewhere. Actually, perhaps up here. We'll just try to stick it as far back in the corner as we can. Uh, where's my production over here? This guy. Right up against the back wall. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Most of that area is scheduled for uh, clear cutting anyway. And we will like having a second stone cutter on the go. And frankly, this one won't last forever either. Ooh, I didn't want to click on a citizen. Yeah, it's one third gone already, actually. So that seems reasonable. We've got to have lots of immigrants to work it, which is going to be nice. I'm going to go ahead and max out builders, even though most of them are going to be acting like laborers right now. Um, herdsmen, actually, we will definitely bring up to the max. And we should probably keep our farmers ma oops, maxed out as well. Uh, just because it, things are way, way more efficient. It's just so sad when any of the food goes to waste at the end of the winter. Some people are suggesting smaller farms, but then smaller farms just have fewer um, farmers assign assigned to it. So I'm not sure that you would effectively get more crops. I think a lot of it just has to do with no one, you know, kind of living near where they are. I'm actually going to drop down two stone houses there, even though it's going to be ages before we can finish it. Uh, and we do have some houses coming in there. So yeah, lots of demand for stone. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know if it works, but on the off chance that it does, I'm going to increase priority of the work over here. I want to get this quarry up as soon as possible, because we are actually going to need more stone, even though we do have a lot of it flagged as well, so maybe we're going to be okay in the end. Uh, and we can hire another woodcutter, so we may as well, because actually, yeah, the firewood situation is uh, really a lot of demand for it. Okay, boarding houses are full. They seem to all be full. We don't have to worry about rebuilding this one quite yet. Um, and we're getting material, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep queuing up these stone houses. I probably shouldn't do them all at once. But I, w I don't want to lose efficiency from having all these people walk across my map to get things done. My poor little town got demolished. Oh man, if it had ripped right through my town center, that would be horrible. Because I think you lose everything that's, say, in a market, for example. If something goes horribly, horribly wrong like that. So that could actually screw us more than anything else. We did lose several storage barns, but because of the markets, I think um, a lot of their stuff got pulled out. 
So we avoided like the worst of the disaster. I'm sure all the cemeteries are full. But hey, people aren't that unhappy. Overall, we're doing just fine. Food is dropping quickly. We do have a lot of extra people. I didn't want the extra laborers. But I think, especially with something like gatherers, because we know they're super good. And we'll max out the hunters as well. All right, there we go. Um, no. Influenza? I was going to say, why is it going so slow all of a sudden? Who has influenza? Sicilian. Not educated. Probably a nomad that showed up with influenza. Son of a bitch. That, that might kill, and of course my hospital is no longer in existence. Uh, let's, I don't know, again, I don't know if it really works, but let's max out the uh, priority of the hospital and hope that it gets built in a reasonable amount of time. I don't have much in the way of faith, but a man can dream. All right, more people can burn, born. Still only one person with influenza. Which is, I guess there will be a lot of babies because we did lose a lot of people. We did lose houses, but nonetheless, we might have expanded our uh, our household capacity overall. Still three extra laborers to deal with death, which is nice. I'm actually going to bring down the builders because I can see a lot of people dying very suddenly. Oh, maybe not. The influenza went away. All right, we'll keep our builders just maxed out then for now. Of course, as things get built, they'll be able to go down. And they could just keep working as laborers, but I'd prefer, you know, actual laborers. That's going to be okay. Did I clear cut all these trees or? Because we have a forester's lodge. Why did everything in that radius get cut down? Did I just get a sudden big demand for logs? I'm actually not sure. Reserve of iron is low. Well, we've got iron mines working, but. I believe we did have a few little spots of iron that would not be terribly inconvenient to pick up. I might be wrong, though. And we don't have full miners. We know that. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that low. We're actually alert. Taylor's at capacity. Good, right, because this got spared. So what we can do... First of all, hide coats. Let's, um... Let's max that out. Grab all hide coats that might be there. And then start with 100 warm coats. And we'll work our way up from that. And oh, we actually do have a trader selling all just food. And actually, the food situation is fine. So I don't need you. Can I order any seeds from you? No. So that's fine. I dismiss you. Mm -hmm. Although I suppose I could have traded herbs in exchange for food. There's something they said for that. Uh, someone's cold, some people are hungry, but again, I think it mostly just has to do with, like, really long walking distances. We have tons of stone. Um, <clears throat> that's good. We'll rebuild that. Rebuild that. I need, um, I need a little indicator that tells me if anything still needs to be rebuilt, so I can go and flag it all. I think everything was fine there. Yeah, I think we've, we've said to rebuild everything. Which is good. Although, did the, actually, did the tornado just do all these trees? I was saying that maybe it didn't affect it, but now I'm realizing that maybe the tornado did touch down here and rip all that stuff up. I'm going to have to, like, go back and watch the video to see. I, was, I think I was just too panicked at the time to really properly pay attention. Uh, oh, you're complaining about materials. Blacksmith, yeah, we have an extra one. Looks like... So we don't need more herbalists, that's for sure. <clears throat> uh, wood for, or the forester, I'm feeling alright. We could get more food production going. We probably will want to. People are dying. Actually, we'll probably go up in terms of miners, because we are always sort of like at the bare minimum of not running out. So we may actually go all the way up to 30 miners and see how that goes. Almost done clearing the space for the quarry. Actually, not even that much. There's quite a bit left still to do there and then bring all the goods over, but overall, moving in a pretty good direction. No firewood here. Oh yeah, we did burn through it really quickly. Uh, woodcutter, I have everyone assigned, right? Yeah, five of five. And we had lost the extra woodcutter, so that would be part of it too. But still lots of food and storage, so overall we should be just fine. These wooden houses, I might actually just go and like demolish everything here just to pack things in a little bit more efficiently. 
and also replace them with stone houses. I guess the other thing I could be doing, um, no, my builders are still pretty busy. I was going to say replace more of these wooden houses with stone houses. Especially, as I think was discussed last time, a lot of the stuff on the edge of the map. Just to make sure that people don't have to walk as far as frequently to get firewood. No people dying of old age, but that's alright. We still have a pretty good population pool. No, I think those nomads have uh, mostly caused everything to stabilize very nicely, haven't they? Two years, so you can see the dip, and then right back up to where we were. In fact, we're even higher than before. We're getting very close to 400 people. Mm, okay, we have more builders than we technically need right now. We have good supply. Yeah, go ahead and stonehouse that. Oh, and there's some more stone houses there. Okay, I was going to say, I must have more houses than just the one over here. Oh, we cut a number six, get that going. Definitely, there's a lot of demand for that, so we may as well do it. We've got another trader coming, another merchant. Uh, ooh, coats and storage is actually low. We, uh, we definitely had a lot of hide coats produced. So a handful of uh, warm coats left. What do you got for me? Leather, firewood, iron tools, and wool. I think we can more or less live without it. There's something to be said about buying a bunch of firewood, though. Since we're still at a bit of a shortage. You know what? Well, that would be 4,000. It would be a lot. Let's buy... We'll buy 100 units of firewood in exchange for 20 warm coats. Trade. There. I think that's fair. Actually, I should have sold the hide coats first. Well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. It all works out kind of samey. Uh, number of stored clothes is really low. Now, if I take a look over here at my inventory, that's the one I want, and we find leather. We don't have a ton of leather. I should have traded for some. I think we have lots of wool, though. But we do need more leather. Now, our hunter's a little bit down, but we do have two cow pastures. Now, this one's not very big, but I would expect enough leather to keep it going. I guess we do have a lot of tailors. I probably should have traded for some more leather. Hmm. Well, hindsight's always 2020. All right, let's um, let's pause. Remove all this, and this road here as well. People are complaining about not having things. Oh, and that's probably a force. Oh, gatherers. Yeah, that makes sense. Excess gatherers. Okay because they didn't have jobs. They can become laborers and actually help do that. Can bring down the number of builders. Probably. Although we really could queue over some more... Well, did this all turn into stone? That's not bad. There we go. Let's do a couple more stone buildings over here. Now, this is a hill here, so... Someone died from what? Died during childbirth. Oh, that's so sad. Um, so we can't put a field here, but maybe we can put in a couple of houses kind of around this little hill. That'll be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get another crop field. We'll leave one space here. Max that out. Get the road tool here. And just stretch that out all the way to the mine. I don't think there's pollution mod in this game, so our farm should be okay there. This actually, this mine is almost out. Almost completely tapped. We actually have a lot of coal in storage right now, so I'm going to flip this to iron temporarily, but obviously we're going to have to set up another mine really, really soon. And I should actually look into that. Where can we fit a mine? It doesn't look like we can actually get it to go there. Or there. Here would actually work just fine if not for the road. So I think what we're going to do is actually get rid of this road. Oh no, there's a field there. That's right, never mind. Um, there's the mine. Mm -hmm. Can we get it to work here? Yes, there was a. There was one spot. There we are. Oh, perfect. I like that. Good, we can do this. Alright, good. That mine that mine's gonna be great. Uh, we have lots of people without tools. Really? Now, we don't have any waiting at the trade, right? No. So it might have been a little bit because of the uh, iron shortage, which hopefully will resolve soon. Um, I'm going to make more potatoes. 
potatoes are good, they're resistant to the cold, they have a lot of calories. Again, I don't know if any of those things are true in-game, but I'm going to pretend that it is. Blacksmith, we're at 3 of 3, we just don't have enough iron to power them all, but eh, we have some stored there. What happened to my coal? Did I misread it? Was I misreading which line? I may have been reading the stone line. That's probably what happened. It seems like the sort of thing I would do. One coal, then we'll have the other mine to work at. Someone crushed by a rock. Getting a lot of fatalities lately. Died in childbirth, crushed by a rock. Everything horrible. Uh, wait, I will get some stone house in here, maybe? Oh, no, not quite enough room. There. No. And then we can build some houses over here. Put one in that. that. More, someone else crushed by a rock. Now, this may have something to do with, like, educational levels. Um, students. My students aren't maxed out, though. Oh, it might be my, my nomads. Being uneducated might not know how to, like, not die during work. I have no idea if that's how it works. But it would kind of be reasonable if it were. You know, education converts into job safety. Why not? All right, get that going. Reserve of tools and iron is low. I know, I know, I know. Oh. Now, clearly, I should be trading a little bit more aggressively when I've got the chance. Although, not that I have a whole lot of coats to spare. So, we'll sell the cheap coats first. What you got for me? Food is still okay, at least. So, we've got that going for us. Um, and it's all food. So, no, I'm going to save my supplies here. I'm actually going to go with my warm coats. I'm going to knock that down to like 75. Whoops, not 750. 75. Just to freeze them up to make sure we don't run out of anything like that. Because that would be pretty miserable. If people were walking around outside without any winter coats, they would be in pretty rough shape. So, builders. I'm just going to drop this down to 10. And we'll get a few more supplies going. I'm going to go ahead and build... Actually, we'll build an orchard uh, with a space over here. Not quite max sized orchard, but that's fine. Build a road there. And then we will queue up some houses. And a couple in the top corner over here. There we are. And yeah, we're still not really encroaching on the Forester's Lodge. I mean, a tiny little bit. Especially with these houses here, but I think ultimately we'll be okay. And there's actually enough room over here to build maybe another field. What we need is that mine. Is it done? It is done. We're getting iron, which is good. Do we have one place working on coal? We have one place working on coal, which is fine. How much is... Oh, man, they're almost both going to run out. So we really have to build probably uh, another two mines really quickly. Hmm. Might be able to fit some stuff in here, actually. Get, like, a whole bunch of mines over here. Uh, we may want more houses. Well, when we get the mines, we'll want houses. For now, these houses are probably sufficient. I should actually do a big pass, like, kind of all over to see. You see, that's that's not bad, but clearly we could actually use a little bit more housing over here. And there, yeah. So, let's do that. Our po uh, population is going to, like, jump quite quickly from some of these extra houses. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing to do. So we're going to get more apple trees, perhaps. And that means we can get some extra farmers going. Lots of people without tools. Listen, we're trying. We don't have any tools waiting here. Nope. Come on, blacksmiths. Mostly still waiting on iron. And now they're producing things slower because they don't have tools. Yeah, this is actually a pretty dire shortage. Wow, this is really bad. Not gonna lie. How far do these guys have to do to store their iron? Uh, over here, that's not too bad. Well, I guess the uh, the stone houses, they need some iron, don't they? Yeah, they do. Actually, I should stop building that. Plus, we're a little bit low on stone in general, so... Um, let's not do that. Yeah, we're gonna pretty much just be out. We've got... What, what has an infestation? Over here, this potato. We get the potato bug. Uh, let's let time advance so that they can harvest these potatoes. 
Actually, I guess I could just go ahead and change it now. It'd be okay. We'll go with wheat. Because they won't replant it. Yeah, they're trying to... To grab things. While they can. While the bugs are eating it. It's kind of funny how the bar was jumping around a little bit. Oh. Another field has got an infestation. More potatoes. Alright, let's rotate that around to pumpkins. Which should be fine. Uh, we are at our firewood limit, which I guess is good. We might even want to put it higher. I'm not sure, though. That's a tough call. You know what? We will, because we can actually go through firewood pretty fast. Oh my god, more infestations. Oh, that was that one. No? Yes? Well, we just rotated both of these, so... They should be okay. Yeah, and I think that's what I'm going to do, is just when, when an infestation happens, that's when I'll rotate the crop. I think it's a little too speculative and random to just do it otherwise. Certainly not without, like, the ability to automate it, because they're so far apart. Like, there's no indication about how long this has been around, anything like that. Just if we get an infestation, that's when we rotate. We really need some goddamn tools. Oh, oh. Oh, you're missing, you're missing iron. Yeah. I could just switch over to, like, simple iron tools as well, and, like, move our, uh, our mine off coal production. I guess we could probably just use more miners. Cut back on the builders. Or we'll just do four builders. Like that. Tons of miners. Obviously our production does need to go up, otherwise our whole society could come crumbling down without enough tools. Hello! What are you bringing? You are bringing seeds. Okay, let's take a look here. Corn, we have. Yes. Peaches, we do not have. Let's just mark it. Oh. There we go. Um, cherry. Cherry don't have. Yeah, because it would be up there. Those are probably just the two missing uh, seeds. Those two right there. Pumpkin, we clearly have. Wheat, walnut, chestnut, we don't have. Um... I'm not really trusting our ability to, like, be able to afford all of it, though. Or even this much, because I don't think there's anything more we want to dump there. Actually, actually, this person, since they are bringing food, I bet you they value herbs. I bet you, if we were to grab 500 herbs and go over here, yeah, so that would be 2,000 value, just like that. Oh, we actually have six traders here. I don't need this many traders. I'll leave them in for now. But we don't need that many. Um, is there anything else we want to trade for? Well, we could trade for some tools, which seems like a pretty smart idea. We could also trade for leather. I think I'm going to do is grab... Oh, I should just grab one of these. Let's just go for peaches. We'll go for peaches, and then... We'll grab however many... Um, we'll grab 50 leather. Wow, leather is expensive. Like, really expensive. Alright, we'll just go for 25 leather, because we did need some, and then we'll fit in as many tools as we can. Which I think is fine. We've got that. Max out there. I guess I can do this trick here. Um, steel tools are only slightly more expensive, and they last twice as long. Oh, wow, okay. We're going to have... Well, still not enough to buy more seeds. So, what, 39? Oops, no, miscounted. Uh, 42. Okay. So we're going to get some leather, peach seeds, and lots of tools. Trade. Worth it. Alright, I'm going to knock that down to zero. Hide coats are, well, we shouldn't have any more ever. And we'll knock down the warm coats as well so that we don't lose our entire supply. And hit play. Although, we did use our entire supply, but we got some leather back, so we should be able to turn it around. We still have plenty of wool, so I think we're going to be okay. There we go. Peaches. Wait. Peaches are down there? Don't tell me, like, I, I already had peaches or something. I was looking here for the orchard. If I already had peaches, but I don't think I did, because I don't think I've got any peach orchards. 
No, I didn't, I, that's definitely a new option. I only had three. What was it? Apples, pears, and walnuts. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm okay. So we will get another orchard done soon. Did I get another achievement? Built from stone. Oh, that's probably 100 stone houses. I just noticed that in the list a second ago. Foodie, immigrants, built from stone. Yeah, 100 stone houses. Bam. Right, we could use more stone cutters and things, but at 15, it's it's not too shabby. Everyone's gonna go and pick up their tools. Thank you very much. We're gonna go ahead and cut the vendor or the traders down to just two, which will allow us to go and dedicate more stone workers. We're gonna be on Tion tools for a bit, although a lot the supply did not last very long because there was massive demand for tools there. We definitely need to keep producing them. Um, Oh no, maybe another pack just got traded over there. But keep producing them. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Firewood reserve is low. See, good thing I put it up to 2,000 there. This is early spring though, so we've seen the end of another winter season. Let me go and... Actually. Actually, that's a good question. Where do I want to put that? You know what? Rather than put all the houses back to back and risk more fire, I will go ahead and put an orchard right behind their house. Like that. Peach orchard. It'll smell nice. And we're all rightish on food. I don't think I'm going to go crazy and build another one yet. Although it's certainly tempting. I'm going to hit that 600 population achievement. How are we doing graph wise? Population relatively stable. I don't think there's anything else worth checking. Okay, good. Died of old age. Died of old age. Best possible way to die, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it, it's better than the alternative, although still not as good as just living forever. I'm gonna go ahead and assign a hospital or a doctor right away, even though I don't think they get used unless there's a disease. But we'll see what we can do. I have no sheep here at all. <gasps> right, all the sheep got sucked up by the tornado. Do I have another sheep farm? Oh, right up here. Yes. Split. There we go. Move half the sheep back into the other one so that we can actually have some growth. It's very important. And I suspect that it is time to put a cut in this video. Wait, we survived the tornado. We're actually doing okay. Hey, we got some more nomads. You know what I'm going to do, right? Obviously. I can't turn anyone down. Oh, and there's only 38 of them. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.